Hello everyone. Today we are going to explore a book named One or Two Combinatorial Problems from the Training of USA IMO Team, written by T2 Andres Q and Zooming Feng. This book is majorly helpful for problem seekers of Olympiad, but it is also useful for combinatorial thinkers out there. In this book. There are 102 problems as the name suggests and it is divided into two sections majorly one is introductory and the other one is advanced so introductory is followed by advanced and the major highlight of this book is that they have solution to each and every problem and it's an elaborate solution but they do miss the theoretical approach towards the problems So let us take a closer look into the contents of the book. So here is the front cover of the book. The name is written along with the authors of this book. And it is a Springer publication. So here you go with the description of the authors. So T2 Andreskew's a uh, a well known author in olympian domain and as you progress you will be able to see the contents so first section is the introductory problems as we discussed they are easier than the advanced problems so the level of these problems range from amc to aime or in terms of indian olympiad they, they go from iqm to rmo and the second section is advanced problems and their difficulty is comparable with the usamo or in terms of indian olympiads say inmo so they each contain 51 problems and the third section and fourth section will be the solution to introductory and advanced to problems respectively so let's take a look into the questions and followed by one solution so we'll just take an example of them so here you go with some strategies to solve the questions i feel that this is quite important for you to parse through them they will give you strategies to tackle the problems in the exam as well as outside the exam but primarily uh, you have to solve the question because usually in olympiads it's not about the time constraint it's about your experience and the practice outside the time without time constraints that is the most prominent part of preparation So coming to the abbreviations here you can see all the exams from which the problems are inspired so these problems are used for the USAMO training camp and they are derived from AHSME and AIME AMC ARML IMO USAMO MOSP Putnam and the St Petersburg Math Olympiad so you can now understand how diverse and eclectic the collection of problems are so some basic um formulas and set theories followed by the questions so you can have a look the introductory problems are quite short and sweet so as i mentioned these problems are not only for olympiad aspirants they can also be explored by combinatorial thinkers like who love combinatorics in their day to day life so in the exam point of view of course this is helpful for olympiads so you have 51 problems and then you go with the advanced here the questions are a bit lengthier as they try to impose lot of constraints and set up for the system that they are trying to um elaborate here so there will be some graph theory as well in uh, in between for example i particularly 
liked this 37th question which is on musicians so you can take a look into this and let's go to solutions so as you could see for some questions they have provided with two solutions not only one first solution followed by second solution and if you read through the strategies mentioned initially they had clearly stated that thinking about alternate solution to each and every problem you encounter is an important part of olympiad preparation so have that in mind and approach problems with different strategies and ideas so the solution length would be shorter as expected for introductory problems and followed by you have solutions to advanced problems which are usually um lengthier due to their difficulty level so the problems are only stated with their solutions there are no concept that can be found in this book if you want to be more consolidating your ideas and conceptual knowledge please refer to book named the principles and techniques which we will be of course doing a book review so so i hope you will enjoy solving this book as i did so try to tackle the problems first by yourself then go through the solutions given do not go through them right away or at least give one hour for each problem before going through the solution you can actually go through first part of the solution after an hour and give second shot on the problem and even if you are not able to get some idea then you may view the complete solution i hope you enjoyed this video we will do more book reviews in the future thank you everyone bye